All right, I'm ready to go. Didn't we just do this? <laughs> this is, we just did this. We just finished. Yeah. All right, I think this is the same shirt. I think I'm wearing the same shirt. This is probably where we finished last summer. I'm wearing the same shirt. All right, Okay. season 16, let's go. Here we are at day two. Yeah, it is uh, starting off with a strong start because we have so many returning staff. That was one of the things that's a variable with any summer, any type of seasonal work, is you never quite know who's coming back. And I feel like the deck is stacked this year with a lot of returning familiar faces that you'll see throughout the course of this season, but also mixed in with an incredible new batch of humans that um, the, the talent and experience that's on this staff, I think is, above any level we've ever had, just in terms of quantity of experience and quantity of humans who are here every single day. This is day two, so they're just getting to know each other. They're getting acquainted. Our returning staff are kind of guiding and leaving breadcrumbs throughout the building for people to find that are new folks who are learning where they're going, what they're doing, what door goes to where, what hallway goes to where. Uh, they're getting settled in at home. So it's a, it's a big operation here in the early days as we not only make a house a home here at the theater and get things set up like we want to get it set up, but also get a jump start on the build and these two giant productions that we have to build with a chorus line and guys and dolls this summer. So it's, I think, T minus seven days or so until the students arrive, but we're gonna pack everything we can in those seven days to make sure we are ready for success when they hit the ground running. I am so excited to be back. It felt like just yesterday, but it's also felt like a full year. And honestly, stepping back on campus and jumping right back into work, I felt more prepared than ever, especially coming in with last year's knowledge and experience. So the Student Life team is made up of four incredible individuals, plus our junior RA, Shay. And Shay is an SSTI alum who is also just the life of the party and a beaming ray of sunshine as well as Calvin, who is also an SSTI alum, so super helpful to have the alums on our team. And he's honestly one of the funniest people I've ever met and will just make everyone giggle all summer long. I'm already predicting it. I'm, I'll ping you. I thought that was, uh, I'll ping. Ping is plural. Like, I'll ping y'all. Like you guys. I'll ping y'all. I'll ping y'all. I'll, I'll ping y'all. I'll ping singular. Like, and I have been punked. Like, or pass, pass. <laughs> pass, pass I have been like punked. Singular plural I'll pass. Punk you. Like I'll say, I will be pinging you. But if Lizzie already sent the message, Lizzie would say, I ping you guys yesterday. Mm -hmm. I ping you guys yesterday. And then I say, yes, yes I, res I was pumped. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then we have Colby, who will be playing Zach in a chorus line and is also just so on top of things. Definitely our logistics man. Then we have Augusta, who never ceases to make me smile. And she's definitely going to be the emotional support group of both the students and staff alike. And then finally we have Ellie, who has been so diligent and on top of things and has really taken a step as kind of an arts manager of the group. She's great with paperwork, but also is a Student Life team member who never ceases to make all of us smile. This year, I am the production manager and tech education director and props designer. So before the students arrive, we're trying to load everything from storage into the space. So we have all of our tools that we got to get in here. We have all of our stock scenery, um, all of our equipment that we have to get in here and set up before we have students. Um, and then we start our build and we're not trying to finish the build before we have students, but we are trying to get a lot of like the ground level grunt work out of the way because it's not as educationally beneficial for our students. So like Robbie, our lead electrician is hanging the light plot because most of our students already know how to hang lights and hang a light plot. So then when they're here, they can help him do like high level wiring of these light up signs that we have. So this, since this is my first year doing tech education, there's a whole lot of prep work to do to get the program set up because I'm doing it a little bit differently than we've done it previously. Um, our staff comes from so many backgrounds and they're so skilled and 
it's really great that we can have them here and they're going to be teaching a lot of the classes. So a large part of my job is to figure out what classes the specific students for this session want to take and then find staff members to teach those classes and follow up with them to make sure that they have their uh, time to create their syllabuses and PowerPoints and projects for the students. We're back. Um, it's really exciting. It's been an amazing like week, week and a half of prep work. Um, the best thing about this week though has been, despite all the prep work we're doing, we've had a bit more time to chill and hang out with each other, which has been really nice. Um, one of the best things about coming back is kind of the reunion of staff members, but also getting to meet all the new staff members and we start to uh, bond and get to know each other so we can build this tight-knit, close, supportive community that the students can then join and then feel like they're a part of that and an, an extension of that, um, which is really awesome. And that's been everything from working together here at the theater, enjoying lunch breaks together. We've been going to dinner together. We've had some trips to the beach. We've been taking runs in the morning together. We went on a kayaking trip on our day off. We had this amazing Memorial Day barbecue, thanks to our grill master, Evan, who uh, always takes on the grilling duties for that. Um, and then we'll, we'll play a lot of volleyball at housing, which we're excited for the students to join in on. We always go a little too hard at volleyball. We all came back to the theater the next day a little too, too sore from running around in the sand. So last year, there was a lot of pranking going on, um, which was like Madison and I just like found a lot of ways to prank Ben and kind of just create, um, it's a fun distraction for the staff, a fun like break from work. And so we were like, we're gonna do it again. So we did a surprise laser tag tournament. Um, we're gonna have Ben te be Team Blue because then if he turns his phaser off and back on again, he's automatically Team Blue. Ben Wolf, come up here and claim your weapon. Some things that are new this year, um, we're continuing but with Behind the Curtain, Behind the Curtain, every Monday, 5 p.m., tune in. Um, but we also have a new position on staff, our social media intern, Francesca, um, is here and she's taking on uh, a lot of the more uh, like stuff kind of like TikToks and making some fun posts for the Instagram. And so it's been really fun collaborating with her. Overall, what we're really trying to do in this week and a half, I guess, is just get ready for the students and lay a good foundation um, for all of them to come in and join. Um, and though we've been having a lot of fun here just as a staff getting to know each other, what really makes SSTI feel so exciting and energetic is having the students here so um with it being the night before arrival day we're just all really excited um for them to get here it's a little nerve-wracking but um we're we're really pumped about it and you know yeah i think we're ready <laughs>